you know, what's the first thing that most men do when they see a beautiful woman? When they see a beautiful woman walk past them or, you know, come across their, their sight, you know, what's the first thing that they do? And it's very primal, very low vibrational. You know, they automatically, you know, gawk or be like, you know, they think about what it is that they can take from her. What it, what it is that she can give to me is the first thing that comes to her mind, right? Or not her mind. The first thing that comes to their mind is, oh, what, what, what she can give to me? What can she do for me? And I just thought about it in reverse. As many virtual virtuous women, and even myself at one point, when I would meet someone that I was interested in. So it may not even, for us, you know, it's not really so much physical, but when we see something in someone we're interested in, the first thing that we think is, oh, what is it that I can do for them? What is it that I can help this man with? What is it that I can help him see so that he can change his life for the better? What is it that I can do for this man that will completely transform his life? See, we've we've gotten accustomed to seeing ourselves as an asset and seeing ourselves as something that we we are supposed to bring value into a man's life which of course is a given right because we're valuable period as people with sources of energy sources of of emotion sources of of life we're valuable period and so we've created there's been this ideology created hence this rape culture that because this man automatically views us within our beauty as something that something that can be given to them something that boosts their ego something that uh that they can take from we automatically have been given this feeling that just by being who we are period and nothing else that we are not valuable and therefore we must work we must do we must prove that we are an asset we must prove that we are of sustenance we must prove that we are something deserving of respect and that is just not not healthy not true and something that I'm completely transformed in the way that I see myself in relationship with all things is that th this this dynamic definitely needs to be flipped definitely I see it being flipped when it comes to what it means to having a healthy balance between the divine masculine and the divine feminine is you know if a man is naturally, naturally an extroverted essence, if the man is naturally um, something that gives and exerts and shines, why is it when he sees a woman or when you know men see a woman that they automatically think, what can I take from her? Or they might not even see it as that they must they might just automatically think what can she do for me and i think this is to toxic um a type of toxic masculinity in many in in many forms that can manifest not just in a man's body but in a woman's body as well you know what can i take what can i get out of this relationship what can you do for me it can be on both ends. It don't got to just be men. It can be women too who have moved into their masculinity, but it's not a it's not a healthy balance. It's not a healthy uh intertwining of both the divine masculine and divine feminine. What can you do for me? That's not healthy. Yeah. And and the woman that has you know this is this is a type of toxic femininity as well. 
and we like to talk about toxic masculinity and toxic femininity and femininity and then blame either either person or either gender for the reality of the two existing but it's not to blame either gender it's to understand the balance to be had between both energies so if you have toxic femininity which i view as a, most women when they enter into partnerships and they're interested in and genuinely interested in this other person they might reflect too much into who they are to the point where they they don't value their feminine essence for what it is just by being what it is they automatically feel like they have to prove who they are prove i have to prove myself i have to prove that i can do this i can do that i have to prove that I am valuable and I bring something to the table and I do something. I'm not like her. You know what I'm saying? That That's that type of thing that, that I feel is a toxic femininity. Toxic femininity to, femininity to me is a very, it's like a, I don't love my femininity. I want to be I want to be valuable to the masculinity. That's That's toxic femininity to me. I don't see the value in being a woman. I see the value in living in the man's world as a woman. I don't see the value in just being a woman, period. I must prove myself in this man's world, whether I'm his wife, whether I'm, you know, the head honcho at whatever job that I'm in, you know, whether I'm doing whatever it is i'm doing i don't see the value in it just being me my essence i feel like that is toxic femininity and it causes so many women to devalue other women to devalue their own uh femininity and expect other people to like you know and it's not nothing that i can blame them for because this society really has created the space for those type of things to live, for those type of ways of thinking and being to live. And so I'm shutting it down. It's shutting down today. Cause ain't nobody gonna come around me thinking that you can be and live and think and act in these different ways as if it doesn't have an effect on this entire world we live in. It does. It very much so does. And I think that we really got to start switching these roles out. I think that, that the role of a man should not be to look at me and automatically want to take from me. You're a fucking rapist. Excuse my French, baby. You're, you're a part of that rape culture. That's a type of raping. That's a type of... I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you to want to take from me. I didn't ask you to even visualize that in your mind when you see me and I didn't ask for you to blame me because of the way I look because of the way I'm dressed because of what I didn't ask for none of that that's something that you're doing without my permission but the culture that you've been raised in says that it's okay and women are being raised to be a target and actually want to be a target for this type of take like for this type of energetic sap that's being done to women and men too i mean the energy is in both bodies so this is wrong and the correct way to go about it is you know as, as a man you are naturally exerting you're not you're naturally an exerting being so why when you see me the first the first thing you should think is what can i do to help her that's how i know that's how i don't you eat the grass don't eat the grass that's how i know what can i do to help this woman to uplift her what can i do for her because she deserves it just by being who she is just by exuding the essence that she exudes what can i do to help her whatever whatever that is i'll do it 
the most men do not think like that. We are merely here to give you energy, to supply you. That's patriarchal. That's that is toxic masculinity. And women, women, you know, divine feminine, you did not come here to be an asset to no man. You did not come here to be a stepping stone or a sidekick. Oh, that was a wasp. Okay. Hey, bye, wasp. You did not come here to be the crutch for someone else's plan. You came here. You came here. Hey. You came here to define and set the standard for what is deserving of our receiving. That's why you're here. You came here to set the standard for what is deserving of our receiving. And you can't set the standard if you're so busy trying to be somebody asset. You can't set the standard to what you're comfortable with. What is okay to be in your presence? What is okay to be worthy of your attention? If you're so busy trying to be worthy, trying to prove that you're worth something. You don't got to prove that you're worth shit. Just by you being who you are, baby, you are worth everything. You came out of, the, out of this womb perfect. You came out perfect. You came out worth something. And I'm so sick and tired. I'm tired of y'all, men and women, who think otherwise. Who think that it's okay in certain circumstances for you to be disrespectful? To be you, for you to be disrespected? Who think it's okay? Who, like, that's just weird to me. It's very odd. It's very disgruntling. I'm not with it. Y'all got to grow up. For real. Y'all got to grow up. Y'all got to grow up. It's not time to be... It's not... It's, the time for that is over. Time for that is over. Okay, she ready to... Ready to nurse. She's ready to nurse. Uh-oh.